Over and they turn it into like a market, okay? They store things inside, they market them front. All of a sudden, you go to the front of Notre Dame, you'll see there's 21 kings. During the revolution, they cut off all those stone kings' heads because that's what they're into at the time, all right? <coughs> so, fast forward about 30 years, uh, you see William Seep, the citizen king, okay? And he is planning to tear down Notre Dame, okay? This is prime real estate right in the middle of Paris. No one really knew its history, so they were just going to tear it down, all right? Until one guy wrote a book about it. Guess what book that is? Victor Hugo. Victor Hugo, yeah. Hunchback of Notre Dame, okay? Yeah. So when he wrote that book, a lot of followers in Paris love Victor Hugo. They read the book, they fell back in love with the church, they knew they couldn't tear it down, okay? So they started restoring it. Now the biggest restoration project was in 2000. Was anyone here before 2000? Do you know what color it was? No. Black. Black. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so the, that black spire there, the entire church is that color, okay? <laughs> That's what happens when you don't clean a church like nine. Kind of built up, all right? So, they started restoring it, and it took them about seven years. Can anyone guess what they cleaned it with? Triple green, no, sandblasting, no. No, no chemicals were used. Water and toothbrush. Urine is terrible. I you say that. No. Uh, no. Any other guesses? Water. Steam, no. Water, no. No. Are you guys ready for this? Yeah. Laser beam. Oh. 